In this video, I'm going to show you how to print from 1 to n using recursion. And we'll take a look at the code at the end of the video. So let's say we have two functions. We have up to n. And if n is 4, then it's going to print out 1, 2, 3, 4 using recursion. Now, how about down from 4? Well, similarly, it's just going to print 4, 3, 2, and 1. The first step to doing any recursion is to draw the recursion tree. And let me show you how to do it. First here, we have up to number 4. Now we have to tell the computer that we want to print from 1 to 4. And how do we do it? Well, we simply call a different function. So let me draw out this tree right here. And here we will have up to number 2. And we have from 1 to 4. So as you can see here, this is a completely different function this time. And basically we added an extra parameter and telling it that we're going to start at number 1. And you will see why this works in a second. This function here will print out number 1. So it will print out number 1 here. And then it's going to do the recursion upon itself. So it is going to call itself. And we increment this number. So this number now becomes number 2. We still have 4 here. It hasn't changed. And this is going to do the same thing. It's going to print out number 2. So let's write out number 2. And then this function will call upon it itself again. So we have 3 and 4. And then we print out number 3. And lastly, we recurse again. 4 and 4. And then it's going to print out number 4. And then again, we have up to 5 and 4. So at this point, we tell the computer to stop because this number here is now larger than our number that we want to print to. So here is the final answer and we will have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's write the code for the up to function. So we're going to define the up to and we have the number n. Now we need to tell the computer to start at 1. So we have up to number 2, 1, and n. The next step is to write the second up to. So we're going to define the second up to function. We have the current number and we have the number to end the recursion. So simply, if the current number is larger than the number that we want to end, we stop the recursion. Else, we're going to print out the current number and then we recurse again. So up to number two, we increment the current number and then the end stays the same. It's time to test it. So we will write up to number four and let's see what it's going to print out. As you can see, it prints from one to four. So it is correct. How about down from number four? Well, we're going to do something very similar, but slightly different. So this function is going to call down from number two, then we have four until number one. So here, what we're basically doing is we're telling the computer that we want to print number four until we reach number one and we stop when we reach number one. So we're going to print out number four. And then this function will call upon itself again. So we have down from this time, this becomes number three, then we have number one, and then it's going to print out number three. And we do the same thing. And we're going to print out number two. We print out number one. And at this point, we tell the computer to stop because this number is now smaller than number one. And we can see that this function has printed out four, three, two, and one. And that is the answer. We shall write the code for the down from function. So we have define down from number n. And then we call the other function, which is down from number two n. And we want to stop at one. Let's write the code for the down from number two. So define down from two. We're at the current number and here is a number that we will use to end the recursion with. So if the current number is smaller than the n, 
then we simply stop the recursion else we print out the current number and then we recurse again this time we subtract from the current and the end stays the same last but not least we will test this function and simply call down from and we put number four here and let's run it as you can see it prints from four three two and one so it means that this function is coded correctly and that is basically it for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you like it please hit the like button and if you want to buy me coffee for free go ahead and click that subscribe button in the next video we will talk about how to convert a for loop or a while loop into a recursive function